Hi, welcome to Love, Heal, Believe with Dali Oxman. Do you have a habit that you want to change, like a bad habit that you really, really want to change, but just struggle to change it? So continue watching this video and find out how you can change your habit that stick. I am Dalit Tampos Oxman, your certified wellness coach. I help women who are experiencing a lot of stress, experience inner peace and calm. And in today's video, I would like to share with you my nine steps to create a habit that sticks. But before I will continue, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. So here are the 10 steps steps on how to create a habit that stick. First is reflect and identify the areas in your life that is challenging for you. So identify, reflect, what area in your life is challenging for you? It could be fine, your finances, you might be struggling financially, or it could be your relationship, you might have like struggling with your spouse or your children or your friend. So what is that that is very challenging for you? The second is and identify the habit that caused you the challenge. So it could be with if you're struggling financially, maybe you're going to look at what are your spending habits. So are you spending too much than you earn? So maybe you can find ways to ch change that. Or maybe you don't spend time with your spouse and maybe your spouse and you are not in talking terms or you seldom, you don't look into the uh, into your eye or eye to eye and not talking anymore or you don't agree, you keep on arguing. So try to look at the habits that lead you to that. So identify the habit that caused your challenge or maybe you're struggling with your health. So what are the habits that cause you to your being sickly or maybe gaining too much weight or losing a lot of weight. And then third is make a decision to change the habit. So you need to decide when you look at this one, this is challenging for me. This is the reason why this ch I'm challenging with this. Decide, make a decision to change this habit. And if you struggle to make that decision, this really helped me when I struggle. I think of the worst thing that will happen to me if I don't change that habit. So I let my body feel the pain if I don't change a habit. And sometimes I, my body can really feel it that after that, I would just like say like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I need to change it. So make a decision. Feel it. You visualize the worst thing that will happen to you if you need to so that you can really create that decision that no, I'm done with this habit. I need to change it. Your, the fourth step is determine your why. Why do you want to change the habit? So for me, it does it really help me to feel the pain if I will not change that particular habit what's the worst thing that will happen and that becomes my why i don't want to experience that pain i don't want to struggle that much because if i will not change it, i feel it already so that will help me say this is my why i don't want that pain so fifth is create an alternative habit sometimes it is hard to create an alternative habit so what will help you is adding in to adding in a new habit. For example, if you see that um, you're, you are gaining a lot of weight because you're eating too much fast food, you can add in not changing that eating habit of eating like fast food all the time, but you can add in eating more fruits and vegetables. If you don't exercise, you can add in um, maybe five minute exercise or add in walking. And for example, if you like to watch your life is sedimentary, you like to watch TV as your pastime, 
So you can add in stretching around the time that you're watching TV. So you get up, do some stretching. So some like movement while you're watching. So that will help too. So that's adding in. So if you are struggling to eliminate, get rid of a particular habit, you add in until eventually that not so good habit will be eliminated from you slowly. Six is visualize possible outcome of you having a new habit. So again, I believe that our mind is here to help us, protect us, and keep us safe. If you visualize yourself as the way you visualize yourself being in pain, if you don't change a bad habit, and your mind who wants to keep you safe will help you not to experience that, Visualize yourself also becoming the person you want to be with your new habit. So intensify the feeling, make, feel it, make it happy, like, do your best for that and feel it. And as you see that, it will communicate to your subconscious mind that you need that, have, that new habit in order for you to become happier and in order to, for you to be safe and your mind will cooperate with you. Next is the seventh one is obstacles. Identify the possible obstacles that you may encounter in creating new habits. For example, um, if you want to reduce your weight or lose weight, but then... Um, you struggle, your, your habit is to eat fast food with a lot of um, artificial ingredients and sodium that may you gain weight. So what are the obstacles that you may encounter in creating a new habit of eating healthy? So for me before, when I was like struggling, for me it was cooking. When I try to like, uh, because I like to get puzzled because um, after work, it's easy. I'm tired. I'll just go grab, go to um, this fast food chain and get food easy, quickly. So I can devour this food and be done. So those are the possible obstacles that is the time for me to cook. So I got to identify the time. So identify those obstacles. So you the time or whatever it is that may hinder you. And after that, create a plan of action to overcome the obstacles. So for me to overcome the obstacles of the time is finding a time in my day off to like really hone it and it's really spend that time, make block the time for me to just to cook. So, and I know I cannot be cooking every single day because I have no time for that. So I block that time so I can make my food the entire week. So I don't have to it's listen my time to buy fast food. And then the next one is the ninth is track your success and journaling my experience. So again, journaling and where I am so I can just like evaluate, continue evaluating where I am with the new habit I am doing and um, the new the new style and um, where I am so I can I can adjust my plan and do something and uh, tweak it tweak it tweak it and then um, and and that it helped me it helped me tracking where I am and just not just tracking but also like rejoicing and rewarding myself that is the tenth one is celebrating every victory that I experience. So those are my 10 steps. I know it sounds like really long, but I'm just like breaking it down, like really break it down. So to, for you to create the habit that stick. And if there's a habit that you are really struggling, that you need help, you can contact me, um, dollyoxman at yahoo.com or private message me or leave a message in this video so and I will get back to you and also this is just like one of the things that I would like to add to is prayer sometimes there are habits that are 
that's really, 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 really hard to take off. And and again, sometimes there are habits that you cannot do it on your own, that to get eliminated on your own. So you may need to ask for help. You can ask, look for a coach to help you. And I am here to help you with that too. If you want to, send prayer. Ask God for help to help you with those habits that you really struggle. And I always like believe in the power of prayer and prayer from your community. So beautiful you, thank you so much for watching this video. And again, do not forget to like, subscribe and share our channel. And I hope that this, um, that you can create a new habit that will stick. And God bless you. And I will see you again next time. Bye for now.